morning YouTube Captain Dave here on the Jetty Wolf this morning heading out with a customer to do some trout fishing and what I wanted to tell you about right now is I keep watching all over YouTube I'm big into knives I've always have been and all the knife stuff has to do with survivalists bushcraft whatever that is preparedness all this stuff guys whittling wood and, and all that but how about the rest of us how about the rest of us who don't you know play out in the woods and sit in the dirt and make these things called feather sticks and and start fires with a uh, what do they call them a feral rod ferris rod or something how about the rest of us how about fishermen? How about just regular people? Well, what we're going to do and in this video is I'm going to show you some EDC blades that I've been trying out every day carry. First is that. Second is this nice little neck knife. That. And then the third one, which is my favorite, is that one right there. All right, we're going to interrupt this knife video with these big trout, gator, tree shaker trout. All right, I already talked about this. The Dexter Russell Outdoors Black Soft Grip Knife. I've already done a video about this, how this is one of their finest fillet knives that they make with the black coating. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Totally effortlessly. This is the cutting board on the back of the Jetty Wolf. And it gets used every single time I'm out. And what this video is supposed to be about, not catching gigantic trout, not catching redfish, float rig fishing in the St. John's River. But what this video is going to be about is knives that I use and the knives that I've reviewed and new knives that I'm going to be using and showing you as an everyday carry. Having a blade on your body. I did a little bit of a show and tell about that knife right there, which is a Dexter Russell net and bait knife. As you can see, it sits right in the sheath there. Here's another one sits in the sheath right there 24 hours a day seven days a week guess what do you see any rust 420 stainless steel works just fine sharp serrated find me yellow i did an entire video about these let's wipe that baby off here's what i here's how i take care of them Do you see any rust? No, these are super great all around bait knives. I run them through the sharpener. I'll end up sharpening that serrations right there. I'll end up sharpening them so the gun's right off. Guess what? Still mirror polish enough, hold on, let me wipe it off, that you can see the flashing red light of my recording GoPro. Let's not talk about fishing. Let's talk about blades. And we'll be right back and talk about more blades after I pop and consume the all-American Paps Blue Ribbon beer.
Well, you saw some footage of this one. This is the relatively new Mora Knife, or just referred to as a Mora. There is so many videos about this knife and its sheath on YouTube. But here's the problem. Nobody talks about the obvious it's all these dudes and even girls out in the woods these bushcraft survival preppers how about something for the angler fisherman the everyday joe well according to mora knife i think that's how it's it's Actually, the real company's name is M-O-R-A-K-N-I-V. I had a, subs a subscriber or a commenter comment, Dave, you ought to check out the Mora Knives. Many knife videos ago. And I did. I looked at them and I've always looked at them. And then I looked at them hard. I picked this one up for the sheer reason of why Mora Knife made this knife. They made this knife to compete with a folding knife, a folding pocket knife. It's got a short, extremely stout blade. You're not breaking this. Let's put it up against a well, I don't know let's let's put it up against a buck kind of utility folder this is one of my favorite bucks all right now you can see there you go I mean that's sort of a this is sort of a little bit of a multi-tool it's got screwdrivers on each end and scissors and a big blade it's a chinese made buck all right so is this as strong as this no way in hell i can wiggle this and it's brand it's basically brand new keep that in mind that this which is the Eldris is designed for competition against this. If you're like me and you don't go anywhere without a blade on you one way or another, uh, you might want to look in to something like this Eldris. They come in all different colors. I believe this is only like a two inch blade. I'm not going to go through all these super specs that all these preppers and everything else do. But it's a super stout, super grippy handled knife. It's got this uh, Scandinavian grind and it's actually thinned out again right here to make the blade even thinner. It's got, as the bushcrafter people just love, it's got a 90 degree spine it's very, very sharp. And it does work out for other people too. I mean, that sharpening, that spine is so sharp, you can almost sharpen a pencil. And let's give that a shot. Here's a pencil that's been sharpened with a knife and you can almost just take down a pencil and get rid of those cut marks just with the spine of this and it's made for as these guys are constantly doing see all that shavings 
they're constantly talking about you know hitting a a fire starting stick I can't remember what they're called feral ferris rods or something like that thin that right on down kind of a really all-purpose little short stout extremely strong and extremely sharp um, alternative to say a pocket knife or something like one that has a a, a belt clip this really simple hard plastic sheath that the knife snaps into and what I do is I put an adjustable uh, neck lanyard on here let's say you don't be you don't want to walk around in a professional environment okay let's say I'm you know going to a doctor's office or something like that I don't want to have a, a larger straight blade fixed blade knife on my belt well I can take that off and I can wear this around my neck and I made this adjustable uh, little lanyard here it goes around your neck all right this is a whole nother subject where this is now adjustable through these knots so it really works out hangs around your neck on the boat I can tell you honestly all those shears for cutting braid are total crap we've all used them we've all bought them they've all broke they've all gotten rusty well anymore I don't buy any of those little braid shears any longer hell with that I have this possibly as a neck knife here's some braid right here this isn't really super strong braid but it's black 30 pound and it cuts it like butter okay that's all I do anymore is I just cut it with the knife so this is a super all-purpose this is not necessarily for these guys that are sitting in the woods playing soldier or anything like that it has a little detent right here or a little recessed little triangle and that fits right in there and it doesn't want to shake out so it's very simple you can put a lanyard on it and it's just a great all-purpose blade maybe you just want to put this you know inside your shirt inside your jacket at the same time you can take that you don't have to put one of these on there you could just stick it in your pocket stick it in your bag have your significant other female put it in her purse and she'll always have something very stout to cut boxes open letters anything and that's the reason why really Mora made this you go on YouTube and you're gonna see one video after another of a guy sitting on a stump out in the woods that's the first one that could be a super duper EDC I believe in preparedness but I'm not one of these woodsmen and probably either are you here is another knife that shows up all over YouTube but with a twist this is a Baco that is a European tool company kind of subsidiary I guess you could kind of say or snap-on tools also distributes Baco tools they have some really really nice stuff and when they don't make it or they can't get it they get it from somebody else and put their name on it but <clears throat> like all the Mora knives they come with the decal on the back made in Sweden that's the whole thing about a Mora knife they've been made for 
what, 125 years in Mora, Sweden, like the little neck knife, that is seriously quality stainless steel. Mora also makes a lot of knives in high carbon steel. I don't even talk about that because I'm a saltwater fishing guide. So, if I'm going to carry anything, it's going to be in a salty environment all the time. Salt air, salt water, on the boat, in the water, on the land, anywhere. So this literally says, and I don't know if you're going to be able to read that or not, but it says B-A-H-C-O, Baco. But don't be uh, misled. This is basically... From what I understand, a Mora knife, same people as these, Mora companion knife. Again, made out of the Swedish stainless steel. It's got the uh, Scandinavian grind on it. All right, so it goes down, it goes to a bevel right here and goes straight into the edge. Very, very easy to sharpen. What you would do is if this is a sharpening stone, you lay the blade, you tilt it over, you sharpen. You lay the blade, you tilt it over, you sharpen. Very easy to maintain. So, this one is in the Find Me Orange. Again, like many of the Mora knives, I just chose this one. It happened to be a Baco. It was a little cheaper. I believe on my Amazon page, tools of the trade, recommended products. This knife is a whopping like $12 for Prime members. Wicked, wicked sharp right out of the package. Extremely durable, very simple, like most of the Mora knives. Forget that this says Baco. The only reason I got this one, it was cheaper. That's the only reason. And I have it, like I said, on my Amazon page. I also have this on my recommended products on my Amazon page. If you want to take a look and see what the pricing is. This one's probably $23, $24. This is how it comes. You get the sheath and the knife. You get, put your own paracord on there or just stick it in your pocket, whatever you'd like. See, it's got the two holes where you just run it, the paracord through. But think of this as a Mora knife. These are, Mora is known for extreme simplicity and a hundred percent quality all the way so that's this one basically the more companion but branded by Baco and it's in the find me orange so here's what I'm talking about folks I could have this on my belt but do I want this on my belt when I'm going into a professional situation probably not in around everyday carry you know, fishing, no problem. I carry this. I do the same thing with this. I cut my braid. I use this to cut everything on the boat. I just like having, instead of any more, a multi-tool on my belt. You got to open them up and you got to do all that. I've gone to nothing but a fixed blade. So instead of maybe having this in a professional situation when I'm going somewhere and I don't want it to be just like, you know, hey, look at my giant knife, which some people would think that is a giant knife, which that's not even close to a giant knife. That's about a, a four, four inch blade, right? Again, retention is through the roof. Simple belt clip. Really, really simple, but such quality. I found this one says right there, Mora Knife. I don't know how they say it, if the K is pronounced or not. M-O-R-A-K-N-I-V. This is a older model, but brand new. This is a Mora Top Q Flex Knife. This is a heavy, heavier duty blade. And they make Mora knives even thicker. This one has a rounded spine, so you're not going to do any 
shaving, bushcrafty, starting fires kind of BS. But this blade is extremely stiff. And it has a Scandinavian grind. Like we were talking about, you would sharpen it by laying the blade, tilt it over, sharpen. Now we go to the top Q flex. There is a big difference in this knife and this knife. And the one that I choose now for every single day carry on my belt is this. EDC. Back on my side. Time to change the uh, oil into Big 250 Suzuki. It's not find me orange. It doesn't stick out like a, you know, sort of a sore thumb type deal. Now in the woods, yeah, I can see you want bright colors. You want bright colors. If you're an average Joe, if you're a regular old guy like me, you live in a house. You're not living in the woods you might want to choose something more sublime, I guess you could say. I put this new water heater in yesterday in my utility room. How many times do you think I whipped out my EDC? To opening the box, to cutting off tags, to doing all those little duties, cutting conduit cutting foam so, let's get to this one the top q flex basically same sheath hard plastic extreme durability it says right there made in sweden now like all mora knives they have some kind of really hard plastic that's what makes them simple and then they overcoat it just like this one with some serious grippy rubber texture. Here's why I love the Top Q Flex. No Scandinavian grind, just the edge. Look at the difference. This has the Scandinavian grind where it's got bevel going down to the edge this is just what I would think they would refer to as just a straight edge, straight grind. It is a smaller blade. You can see it's smaller, it's thinner, it's not as wide. You look at it here, it's much thinner than this one. And top Q flex means it flexes. It flexes. What have I found? This is even easier to keep razor, razor sharp. That design, that Scandinavian edge, or as they say, what a Scandi grind is what they call it. And most other Mora knives, their background and their history is in wood carving type uh, knives as tools, carpentry type tools. Um, supposedly, I mean, since I'm not a big wood guy, that edge on here, the way it's way it's done, same thing on this one, is really for just getting in and having real control when carving. Uh, that edge is supposed to be really superior when doing them, when you, you're doing something with wood versus this one. 
This is like a regular fillet knife. I just really prefer really thin with some flexibility in it. Stainless, of course, got to have stainless. And that's the reason why this is now my absolute favorite. This is the one that I'm wearing on my belt. Then I would say this is a second runner up just for the sheer fact that I really like this one around my neck. I have never, ever been a neck knife guy until I got this knife. And this, eh, this is one I'd, you know, I'd keep in my tool bag on the boat. I'd keep one of these in my truck. I really love these two right here. So, but I wanted to mention that because I, I don't want people to think that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I am. I'm kind of making fun of the guys that live in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> come on, I am. But if you're living in the woods, everything really is, you know, about, if you're spending the weekend in the woods, everything is about taking wood, making tent stakes, all that kind of stuff that you'd be working on while you're out in the woods. But like I said, I'm not a woods guy. I'm not a woods guy. I live in a house with air conditioning in Florida. It's hot as hell. Nobody in Florida wants to really go live in the woods. Starting, especially where I live, it starts somewhere in and around Mother's Day and it's pure hell into till November with the heat and the bugs. Oh my God, the bugs. Yes, the Mora Knives tradition with the Scandi grind, their history is all about tools for wood carving, carpenter tools, things like that, tradesman type tools. I don't want people jumping on me Oh, yeah, you're just making fun of the, the bush crafters. Yeah, because they deserve to be made fun of a little bit. Because there's the rest of us. But then when you go on YouTube, all you see is these dudes sitting in the woods. You know, hey, I subscribe to some channels. And it's these dudes that are sitting in the woods. Because I'm just interested in what they're doing. And that's how I learned. Right? So hopefully you're learning something here a little bit from a fisherman, an everyday Joe, a fishing guide, a diehard fisherman. You know, yeah, you can get any small little flay knife to keep on your side, you know, when you're out on the boat. But this as a neck knife really, really works. And as a everyday carry for me, being that I live the lifestyle from sun up to sun down 365, having a nice little super quality, get everything you pay for in a $15 knife. Yeah, you can buy a cheap little crap one at the bait shop. I see them at the bait shop, but I can guarantee you that little blade in a, in a little sheet, plastic sheath like this is not going to be nowhere, nowhere as as quality as these Moras are. So when I choose an EDC, this is what I've chosen. They have these on Amazon. Like I said, this one here is a little bit of an older model. They changed out the handle. This is an older one where the handle was different, but the blade remains the same. Stainless steel made in Sweden, absolutely razor wicked sharp quality stainless steel. And like I said, for me, the flex and the thinness is easier to sharpen. I'll either have this with me or I will have this with me. And of course I ordered the black one. So again, you can get these in all different colors. But when you check out the Mora knives, you'll see they got different colored handles. They got different colored sheaths and they go in basically series of knives. This 
is about exactly the same thing as the short little Mora fillet knife. Except the fillet knife, this part and this part here is bright yellow. I didn't want that. And of course, Mora makes some unbelievable quality, simple plastic type sheath fillet knives also. Ones that I highly recommend as an EDC. So simple, so inexpensive. This right here, we're looking at maybe 13 to $15. This one, it's, a, it's new, it's their latest and greatest. So guess what, $23. Simple quality from Mora. You can check them out on my Amazon recommended tools of the trade trade page. I will have all the links below. Thanks for watching. This has been my rebuttal to every one of these guys in the woods, guys sitting on a stump, guys cutting wood. Thanks for watching. You all you non bushcrafting survival preppers. You everyday fishing Joes. Who let them dogs out? I said, who let them dogs out? And we even had to throw another four pounder back. And who let them dogs out? And who let them dogs out? And then, how about that dog out? Yes, sir. All right, not a bad morning. Half day in the morning and threw back another one like these two and had lots and lots hooked up and lost.